Come on. Go potty, hurry up. Where are you going? Oh, oh, hello, Pokemon trainers. I didn't know you were there. I'm just at my house here with my shaman. Uh, and I took him outside because he has to use the restroom and apparently he's just eating the grass. But anyways, uh, hello Pokemon trainers, welcome to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet video here on iStarly TV. That was cool, his flowers kind of grew. So I think he's done now over here. Let's go over here. So this video is going to show you how to change your Shaman form in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And of course, as of the Pokemon, I think it's like the 2.0.1 or something update. But either way, the update that came with the DLC last night... Uh, my time, um, makes it so that Shaman and a lot of other Pokemon from Sinnoh, as well as a few other Mythicals, are now able to be transferred to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So currently, there's no way to get Shaman or Darkrai or even, well, the Sinnoh starters you actually can get, but anyways, there's no way to get them in Scarlet and Violet, but you can transfer them if you have them from older Pokemon games. Most notably, I would say Legends Arceus and Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl were ways that you could get Shaman. Um, there was an event in Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, so if you got that event item, you could get it. And then also in Legends Arceus, I honestly forgot how to get it in Legends Arceus, but I, I did catch it there. But either way, Shaman can now be transferred to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And of course, what that means is you can change your Shaman's form. So if you come over to this nice lady, of course, she's the one who gives you all of the legendary form change items. This is in Paldea. It's and it's on the pretty much westernmost part of the map, kind of kind of northwest a little bit. But of course, this is in Porto Maranata, which is the the city with the auctions. And so, uh, if you come over here, basically, if you have Shaman in your boxes or in your party, if you have it anywhere in your game, she will have the Gracidia flower for you to purchase. And it's just five hundred dollars, very cheap, very simple, and. Oh, I, you actually have to auction. Okay. All right. I forgot about that. This is actually an auction. Shouldn't be that hard to get, though. Probably a few thousand. Although the, the price is quickly increasing here. Okay, she's out. Just got to beat this person. Okay. Not too bad. 7,000. Um, or was it 7,500? I kind of missed it. 7,000. Yeah, okay. Either way. I guess it's not too bad for, for the price of a shaman sky form right so let's go ahead and come over here and take a look at it so we saw our regular shaman beforehand um i guess we can take a look at its stats even though we know that shaman sky forms stats are different um yeah so there's its stats right now and let's go ahead and use the item so we go to the bag i believe it's going to be in the key items so go over to the key items and it should be the most recent key item you got and of course you can use it on your shaman There we go. Awesome. So now it is a sky form shaman. I think that's what it's called. Look how awesome that is. It basically floats. That's really cool. I actually think that's really cool. I like that a lot. <laughs> that's really cute and funny. That's awesome. This is the better shaman, right? Anyway, uh, let me take a look at the stats now. So now it is a grass and flying type. Yeah, shaman's a cool Pokemon. I never really got a chance to admire how cool it was. I think because it's a mythical and it's so hard to come by. But now that we have it, it is very, very cool. So that's how you get shaman's Form changing item in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet now that the games are updated with the DLC and Shaman is now legal in these games. So yeah, if you have a Shaman, I know it's a rare Pokemon, you can get the even rarer form. Thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe for more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet videos. He's just flying up that hill. Let me know in the comments what your favorite part of the DLC has been so far. Even if you don't own it, you can now transfer a bunch of Pokemon to Scarlet and Violet, whether you own the DLC or not. So let me know what Pokemon you are most excited to bring into your copy of Scarlet and Violet. And thank you very much for watching. Like I said, please leave a like, subscribe if I haven't said that already. And I hope you have a great day. That's something I have not said already. Uh, Shaman also really hopes you have a great day. I'm trying to get a good angle here, but... Anyways, thank you very much for watching.